Village arsonists. Arson is a serious crime especially in rural areas, within England a criminal can still be issued with a life sentence if found guilty of arson. There were only two notable arson attacks in rural Lincolnshire during the 19th century. In this period Scunthorpe was separated from the other villages of Ashby, Brumby, Crosby, Froddingham and the Fire Brigade was abundant within these ages, which made arson crime easy. The criminals would set hay bales alight, all residents in these villages could do was alert people by shouting fire and hope they could put out the fire by working together. Even though many arson attacks occurred during the Captain Swing riots, within the year of 1855 a farmer from the village of Waddingham had his rick burnt, which led the residents of the village on a manhunt for suspicious-looking tramps. Five miles away from Scunthorpe is the village of Belton, where on 8 September 1861, a fire occurred at Robert Robinson's stockyard, which the residents helped to put an end to the blaze as quickly as possible. Even a man Thomas Corkwell who was a village drunk helped to put an end to the blaze. Three of Robert Robinson's stacks of rick were lost in the blaze. At first light a constable visited the site where the fire occurred, it did not take long for the constable to notice footprints from a pair of boots, that led from the blaze site into a vegetable field. Soon after it was found the boot prints belonged to the drunk Thomas Corkwell. Thomas Corkwell had a vendetta against Robert Robinson, which was caused by love. A servant who worked for Robert Robinson was beautiful enough for Thomas Corkwell who often made advances towards the servant, obviously with Thomas Corkwell being a village drunk, Robert Robinson did everything in his power to prevent the blossom of love happening. Thomas Corkwell was not the only village drunk in Belton majority of his family members were drunks. When Thomas Corkwell appeared in court, his father Corkwell Sr. tried to help free his son, although, while Corkwell Sr. was being questioned, Corkwell Sr. replied and slurred words while doing so, with Corkwell Sr. being so drunk. After being found guilty Thomas Corkwell was sentenced to 12 years penal servitude. Within the year 1865, Posters were created and distributed all over North Lincolnshire, which the poster offered a pardon to anyone who was able to give evidence of any arson attack. Many did not take the offer, it was thought back in the day, the arson attacks were ultimately down to land workers being unfairly treated by the lords. Joseph Arch created the first agricultural union in 1872, which decreased attacks on property but not arson attacks which was a huge problem in the Victorian era, which affected the eastern coast of England the most, from Suffolk County to the Humber estuary, this is why arson still stands as a capital punishment in England today.